How's it going everybody? You got Bison here, back with my second player review from the MLS team this season. Obafemi Martins, the speedy striker from the Seattle Sounders. 95 pace on this card, can you believe that? 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, but he also has 84 finishing. Better shot, better dribbling on this card. Is he worth the money? Should you get him? We will find out in this review. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, guys, at BisonYT. Here we go. This review is underway. So this card, obviously, was a speedster on the pitch. There's no shortcutting it. He was insanely quick off the dribble. One of the fastest players I have used. Believe me, he really lived up to his 95 pace in game. He would fly across the wings. If you want to be that kid who paces along the wing and crosses it in like everyone seems to do in FIFA, this guy will do it for you. He is just so quick, believe me. However, why am I reviewing this card if he's just some pacey bitch? What really separated this card from other really, really fast strikers is his amazing finishing ability. It was very underrated. Not only does he have five star weak foot so he can whip it in with both feet, he, he really seemed to be able to score from almost anywhere. He only has 54 curve on his shot so he doesn't have a great finesse shot even though I managed to hit one with him. He is a very good long shot taker surprisingly and has a lot of power on his shot. Obafemi can nail in some very difficult shots. He reminded me of a smaller Aubameyang. This card isn't very tall. However, it's pacey and it's a good finisher. You look and see that 77 shot on the base card, but I feel like that's very underrated based on how he plays in game. He can shoot with both feet, he can shoot powerful, and he can shoot it from a lot of places around the pitch. This is a grand example of how he paces through the defense with great first step quickness and then nails a difficult shot with his left foot. His shot and pace combination was very, very impressive, and that's why I loved playing with this card so much. And you see this finesse shot I managed to do with him, even though he only has 54 curve. On to the next part of Obafemi Martins, his heading. The base card stat says 75 heading, but if you look closely, the in-game stat has 69 heading accuracy. He has great jumping, 97 jumping, so he can really leap up in the air. But he didn't win any headers for me. He really couldn't win it over stronger and taller defenders. Speaking of his strength, this card was kind of weak in game. Even though he could dash by defenders, kind of like Team of Season Donovan, he could get pushed off the ball a good amount of the time. 74 aggression, 70 strength, and medium medium work rates doesn't really translate into a powerful and strong striker off the ball. However, his pace and his shot are really incredible and really make this card. He has good ball control, he can settle the ball pretty well, but his dribbling was pretty average, he couldn't really maneuver around defenders. However, I feel like the rating given to him, which is a 77 in game, is a little bit low. This is the last clip I want to put in here. I'm trying out the Brazilian goalkeeper Helton to compete against the other Brazilian goalies, and he lets in a nutmeg goal. That review will come out eventually. Anyways, for Obofemi Martins, I felt like he was a good striker. Do I recommend him? Yes, because of his pace and shot, he can be a very deadly striker, but it's not a perfect card. You can see these weaknesses, they're not much better than his normal card, but his pace and his shot are superb with this card. Shot very, very underrated. Final rating I'm going to give to this card is going to be an 8.6 out of 10. I know there's a lot of negatives that come with this card, but if you look at those great positives, the fact that he is insanely quick and has a great shot, good ball control, settles over the top three balls, and five-star weak foot. This card can be very, very deadly for you. He was a great player for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. So thanks, guys, so much for watching this review. More Team of the Season reviews up soon. Let me know who you want to see next. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.